Cam and the others inform Hajime that they will be starting the operation. Thus, Hajime tells Shia that she can now act as the daughter of the tribal chief. After that, the emperor welcomes his guest to the official engagement party of Liliana with his son. He also tells them there will be a lot of surprises. Well, dude probably planning something shady. Meanwhile, the rabbit beastmen get ready to make their mark on the history of the world and put an end to hundreds of years of persecution. As Cam thanks Hajime for guiding them to this battlefield, Hajime tells them to give their best. Thus, Cam and the others decide to ambush the emperor. As Cam and the others engage the emperor and his soldiers, Shia heads to crush the reinforcements. Coincidentally, that grid guy who threatened Shia earlier arrives with his unit. Then Shia taunts Grid and implies that she is lucky to have run into him. Shia tells them that if they want to save the Emperor, they have to defeat her first. Then, one of the soldiers rushes to deal with Shia. Needless to say, Grid starts sweating after witnessing Shia's monstrous strength. Shia proceeds to introduce herself and tells him that she was once attacked by him and his men. Since Grid's fragile ego was hurt by Shia, he hastily orders his men to eliminate her. As Shia decimates the Imperial soldiers one by one, Just as Shia throws her warhammer to defeat one soldier, Grid thinks now is their chance. However, everything fails as Shia completely annihilates his men. Bro, where did that almighty attitude from earlier go? Anyway, one punch from Shia almost knocks him out. He even starts begging for mercy, but Shia isn't having any of that. She hits him so hard that he is sent flying out of the palace and into the sky. Well, it's safe to say that Grid guy will not survive that last hit.